Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Number 4. The cable must have a wire gauge sufficient to the amperage of the subpanel. A 100 amp subpanel requires number 4 copper wires or, more commonly, number 2 aluminum wires, for example. Aluminum is often used for feeder cables because the cost is typically much lower than that of copper wires. Let's help you make your mark. Of course you can. You can add the 100 amp breaker to your 200 amp as long as it isn't overloaded. To start adding the subpanel you must first calculate how many yards it will be from the main panel to the subpanel. There is a formula that calculates how much friction will be on the wire at the connecting distance. Let's help you make your mark. No, the meter only passes the current of the load. If the new mobile home has a 100A main breaker, which it should, all you need to do is run the existing 200A heavier wiring directly to that as long as it will fit in the lugs. Make your mark, take our lead. A 100 amp branch circuit would require hash 3 a Rubin Florence Ku or hash 1 a Rubin Florin Al wire. A single phase circuit would have three conductors, a three phase circuit would have four wires. If using PVC conduit, add a minimum hash 8 a Rubin Florence Ku ground wire. Take our lead. If the circuit is 100 amp or less you have to size the conductors based on the 60 degree Celsius column unless the breaker and the equipment terminations are rated for 75 or 90 degrees. You have to use a number 4 conductor to feed a 60 amp circuit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.